You look gorgeous. <laughs> Does anyone have a tissue? Come on. This <laughs> have you got a runny nose? Hi. Hi. I want some watery. Oh my God, you look absolutely divine. How is that to wear? It's incredible to wear. I feel like Tatiana. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Hey, listen, congratulations. I saw the film earlier this week. Absolutely loved it. Um, is it ever okay to lie? Because poor Roxanne, I think, missed out. See, I have a different point of view. I asked myself at many times uh, what it would imply if Roxanne knew the truth. <laughs> Any thoughts? That's open for interpretation. <laughs> You're not going to say. That's for audiences to project their own opinions and emotions on. I don't want to steal that from the audience. You did this as a play, and then you uh, were part of adapting it on screen. You went to Sicily. What's this whole experience been like for you? Um, it's been a wonderful gift. You know, when Joe got the last draft, the shooting draft from Erica, he knew more than ever that this was the time that this film needed to be made. We all were starved for connection. We all wanted to, you know, be creative and, and make a, a beautiful film about our ability to connect or our ability to not connect. And it was a wonderful experience creating this bubble with all of these incredible dancers and musicians and The National and Pete and um, Kelvin Harrison Jr. and Ben Mendelsohn. It's an incredible cast and we had such fun. Um, Noto Sicily was the backdrop. It was incredible kind of fantasy of a world. And I'm so excited to share this love letter to love with audiences. What does love mean to you? Because in the film, everybody's really worried about showing their authentic selves in case they're rejected. It's, it's, it's finding someone that and, and recognizing that person that you can be your true self with and they can be their true self with you and that's quite difficult to find i think you know